The Fermi Paradox asks the question that if aliens exist in the Milky Way, then we should see evidence of them. So, where are they? This question has endured within SETI circles for decades and remains an open question. But in recent years, two glaring issues have come to light with the paradox that suggest it may not be a paradox at all. And in fact, absence of evidence of alien civilizations is perfectly normal for right now, and it will be for centuries or longer before we even know if there is even a paradox. The first problem is that we may be overestimating galactic visibility. When we think of what would be evidence of an alien civilization, we tend to think of radio signals. Trouble is, unless you're talking about an enormous contact beacon blasting out messages in all directions hoping that someone will randomly see it, everything else gets really ambiguous. We can envision things like alien radar, for example, where it might be powerful enough to be seen at a distance. But the trouble is, beaming radar around would likely just produce one-off signals, something SETI can't go on. We can also envision laser communications or laser emissions leaking from solar sails that we might pick up. But for that, we have to assume that aliens might employ solar sails. We don't know if they do. In fact, we simply don't know anything about alien technology. All we know are things that we might do, and one thing we haven't done is built an enormous omnidirectional contact beacon screaming hello to the universe, nor is it likely that we could ever justify doing so. Consequently, aliens might not build them either, but what aliens might do is contact other known civilizations directly. In other words, they see us and then send a hello. Contact projects of that nature are easier to justify, but there's a problem. Most of the galaxy doesn't know about us. Because of the distance and the time it takes for radio and other technological emissions to cross space, not very many civilizations are going to know that we're here yet. We've only been emitting signals for about 100 years, and less so for powerful signals. In fact, the earliest one powerful enough to reach into space probably was the infamous footage of Hitler opening the 1936 Olympics as shown by the movie Contact. Thankfully, aliens aren't going to be able to decipher much of it for various reasons, not the least of which they would have no way of learning German, but they would know that it was a technological signal. So, presuming our signals could be picked up, so far they have only reached out to a radius of about 82 light years. That's not very many stars compared to the whole of the galaxy, and not a lot of chances statistically for us to have been detected. So, statistically speaking, when could we expect to get contacted? In a paper by Evan Solomonides and Yervant Terzian, they attempt to give an estimate of just that, link below. They estimate by statistical model that we really shouldn't expect a contact signal until about 50% of the galaxy has been reached by human signals. In other words, the fact that we haven't seen anyone is normal, and we really aren't likely to get contacted for a very long time. They even put a number on this. The earliest we should begin to expect intentional communications is 1500 years from now, and that the lack of observation that underlies the Fermi paradox isn't unexpected at all, and ultimately doesn't really mean much. But this doesn't mean that we have to wait 1500 years to answer the are we alone question. As I've spoken about many times on this channel, there are other ways for aliens to say hello, both intentionally and unintentionally. We could at any time observe megastructures passing in front of stars or other techno signatures that do not depend on the aliens knowing that we're here, but instead simply depend on the activities of aliens going about their business. That we haven't seen this yet might not be surprising either. The reason is that up until recently, we really didn't have the equipment to look for technosignatures or distinguish them from natural objects. Only with recent equipment, like the Kepler Space Telescope, could we really start to systematically distinguish things like stars behaving oddly, and even then, Kepler only looked at a tiny fraction of the night sky. The good news here is that equipment is coming that will give us a far greater ability to find the oddness in the galaxy, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope, and it may very well be that we serendipitously detect alien civilizations long before they even know that we're here. What would be an odd outcome, though, is that even after thousands of years of observation and listening, the Fermi Paradox holds, and distantly in the future we are still left wondering. That truly would be a paradox. Thanks for listening, I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently still concerned about what Earth communications the aliens might pick up. If they get the television signals, the first contact signal they send could say, more bonanza or space laser time for you. Or, why Will Smith punch alien? Or worse, encoded messages for Beldar. Mips indeed. So very, very worrying. And on that note, be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.